Welcome back everyone. I haven't done a bathroom tour for absolutely ages, possibly even a couple of years. So I thought I'd show you what I'm currently growing in my master bathroom. This is a south facing window, although it's very small and it's frosted. So the bathroom actually doesn't receive that much light. At the moment I do have all the lights on, so it's quite bright in here. So over here on my bath shelf, I've got a little Florida ghost. Because it's not receiving really bright light, the leaves usually come out a lime green. But if this plant was to receive really, really bright light, the new foliage will be a lovely white colour. This is a cutting that I took from my mother plant quite a few months ago. And I think it's got about three new leaves. So it's doing quite well. Over here, we've got my super easy to care for Pothos, I've had this one for about three years and these do really well in kind of low light conditions, still even getting variegated leaves even though the light's quite low. It has started to almost touch the bath so I might have to give that a bit of a trim. These are really easy to care for and I usually water this one every couple of weeks. The leaves usually will go a bit droopy when it's thirsty. Some of the leaves have got quite big up there now. I would really like to get some more trailing plants for my bathroom. I might actually put a silver satin pothos in here. I've got one in my office and I keep taking cuttings from it because it's just huge now. So I might actually put some of those in here. And then over on this side, we've got a Syngonium pink splash really beautiful at the moment this one's okay for light but because it's obviously going into autumn now it's going to be a little bit darker in the bathroom so i will probably move this one this is also a cutting that i took off my mother plant so pretty for anyone that's into home decor i do get asked about these sometimes um, these are simple human shampoo, conditioner and shower gel dispensers. I've had these here for about four years and I think they look really nice. It's a great idea if you like to get the clutter off your bath and you don't like lots of bottles on the bath like me. <laughs> Over on this shelf we've got a Calathea Elliptica Vitata. I think I got that right. I'll put the names on the screen anyway. So this was one of my Calatheas that got thrips along with most of my other Calatheas actually about a year and a half ago. So I had to regrow this one from scratch, but it's a really pretty Calathea. I do find that they are prone to bugs. So I think if anything happens to the Calatheas that I've got now, I don't think I would replace them with more Calatheas, to be honest. Down here, we've just got a couple of Talansia in some sea urchins. I did a Talansia haul recently. Um, these were from Etsy. I'll link that below for you if you're interested in air plants. Got a Maranta here, which seems to be doing okay. I used to have a Calathea Zabrina here a couple of years ago, but that was another one that got thrips and it bit the dust, unfortunately. Oh, I've forgotten a plant up here. We've got a Marble Queen up there. I wouldn't say that's um, gone mad with the growth, but it is in quite a dark corner, but it's still got um, variegation on it, which is nice. So over on my south facing window, we've got this guy who was originally a pup from a mother plant that I had, but it got so big that I had to get rid of it, but I did keep one of the pups. This is a nice variegated version. And then I've just got a couple of cacti. This one's flowering. Um, I've had most of these for about at least two years. Um, this one, it likes to bend towards the light, so I have to keep rotating it, but it does flower every year. It does look a bit, look a bit funny. <laughs> Up here, we've got my crocodile fern. This was another one that I had to regrow from scratch because it got thrips about a year and a half ago. So these are all new leaves. I absolutely love the texture on the foliage. 
it does actually look like crocodile skin. Really cool. So this one was probably getting a little bit too much sunlight on this window, which is why it's gone a bit curly, but it will be fine here over autumn and winter. So I think I'm just going to leave it. Um, obviously this room gets quite good humidity because I do take a bath in here every day. Over here we have got a neon pothos. Had this one for at least two years as well. Originally this was in my office. So the new foliage comes out a lovely neon green colour and then it does darken as it ages. This one has got little tiny bits of variegation, which is quite nice. But it seems quite happy here. It's actually grown more here than it did in my office. So it did start off as a small plant, literally um, just this top bit here really. So this whole vine here is new. Up here we've got a little baby Alocasia cupria that I grew from a bulb. This has only been here for a few weeks. Again, it will be fine here for probably for the next few weeks, but then I'll have to move it because it won't be getting quite enough light. But these particular alocasia can be grown in slightly lower light conditions because they've got the lovely shiny metallic finish on them. And then last but not least, we've got this gorgeous Boston fern. It's looking really beautiful at the moment, but I have had one of these before and after a while it did go a bit crispy but it seems to be looking not too bad at the moment. As I mentioned, I do get quite good humidity in this room. I try to keep the soil slightly moist on this one. I find if it starts to dry out, then that's when you get crispy tips. But I love this plant, it's so beautiful and lush looking. This pot is from Ivy Line and the bamboo stand is from Home Sense. I think I picked that up last summer. I forgot to mention it's around half past four in the evening and it's quite a gloomy day so I was just going to show you how much light this room gets when I've turned off the lights. Sorry that's Marvin in the background you can hear he's upstairs with me. So as you can see it's quite dark in here once I've switched the lights off but it is obviously the evening now and we're going into autumn so we're not getting as much sun which is very sad but I do love autumn but I just wanted to show you what it looked like with no lights on and as you can see all the plants seem pretty happy especially the golden pothos pretty much put them anywhere <laughs> so that's pretty much everything that I'm growing in my bathroom at the moment as I mentioned depending on the season sometimes I do have to move plants to different locations to get more or less light. Um, but this is currently what I'm growing here, or I have been growing here during the summer. I would really love to add some more hanging plants in here. And I would absolutely love to hang um, some orchids above the bath. But I think I'll just start off with the silver satin pothos and hang it up here somewhere. I think that'll look really nice. When I did my last bathroom tour, I did get quite a few messages asking um, how on earth I managed to fit into the bath with all the plants and everything. But I honestly, I fit in the bath perfectly fine. It's only really this little shelf on the end here. I usually put my phone on here and watch um, YouTube videos when I'm in the bath. Um, but it's, yeah, it's quite a big bath. And I also do have a separate shower room as well but I might just trim the golden pothos because it is starting to kind of almost hang into the bath. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Take care everyone and I'll see you all soon.